Greetings, trumpet players from my New Jersey trumpet bunker. And uh, like any good home practice room, I share the space with a furnace, a water heater, a washer, and a dryer, all of which you can probably hear running in the background. In any case, I recently ran across a tutorial video on how to play shakes and lip trills, which so annoyed me that I thought, well, why don't I put, put up my own uh, uh, version? Uh, before getting to the uh, Metropolitan Opera where I've been for about 28 years, where shakes and lip drills are the last thing a trumpet player will ever ever need to do, um, I was really pretty good at this and, and, and did it a lot in drum and bugle corps and big band jazz situations. And I was good at it kind of by accident. It was an outgrowth of the way I articulate. Uh, and then later I had to engineer, or reverse engineer I should say, uh, when I ha well, found myself teaching other people how to do it. In any case, let's start here. Shakes and lip trills are two different things. Uh, the terms are used interchangeably, even by arrangers, but they are different. The shake is an outgrowth of the vibrato, the hand vibrato, made famous by Louis Armstrong. Okay, exaggerated vibrato, it cracks upwards, all right? And most of us, at least I do, associate it with traditional jazz, okay? Um, and it has a kind of a rough uh, feel to it and a, and a very uh, kind of a violent clicking sound in between. Lip trills, on the other hand, are accomplished not with the lip, but with the tongue. Um, let me do a little video, excuse me, a little uh, visual visual aid. So, the way I tongue, ta-ta-ta-ta-ta is the way I speak. A little further back from the tip. That gives me a kind of an arched situation in the front. Alright? So, with this tongue position, if with the tip of my tongue, I make contact with my bottom lip, I can alter the aperture. Alright, and I can do that. Uh, I can control the speed, and I can do it a at any dynamic. So, um, Haydn trumpet concerto. can play it and I don't and I can play it at a civilized um, a dynamic so that it doesn't sound out of place in that context really handy for cornet solos as well another place where you're gonna want to use that is if you play one of these puppies all right natural trumpets back in the day the guys didn't have any valves I need a little practice on this thing, you can tell. The same tongue position in a commercial setting, very high velocity playing, players will use it, the, the arch, as a venturi, all right? And there's, so the wind is moving at a very high rate very high pressure, and then they're going to squeeze it and control the, um, uh, they will change the note by controlling the, uh, changing the wind speed, as if putting your, like putting your thumb over the end of a um, garden hose. This only works for high velocity playing. Alright, it's like I'm squeezing the note in between my tongue and the roof of my mouth okay so that's three versions of um, loop trills uh, that I'm aware of uh, that have worked for me in the past so mess around with it see how it works <laughs> 